And now our first guest tonight, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Ray Roger. Thank you. It's nice to be here. Thank you, everybody. So, a uh, lot's been happening since your last visit. A new TV show. Now, uh, a big hit movie. Yeah, thanks. Well, I, I've been very lucky. Always the humble one, this guy. <laughs> well, it's always been a dream to be an actor. You know, I, I read somewhere that just a few years ago, you were a realtor up in San Francisco. So how do you go from that to suddenly the silver screen? That's a big jump. <laughs> well, I, I guess so, but uh, I have to say it just happened one day when a good friend of mine sat me down. Let your parents help you with that. I figured I'd get a head start on tomorrow. Maybe a lot less they have to do. Seriously, take a break. Dude, really? How did the showings go today? Well, they saw a couple houses they actually liked. Are they serious buyers or are they uh, waffling little bitches? <laughs> <laughs> uh, too early to tell, but I can't blame them. You know, it's a difficult thing to get up and move. Tell me about it. You really think that's a good idea? Oh, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't want to get cancer or anything. No, but you might uh, be able to spend a little more time with your folks. You think my folks are going to let me light up after I move in? That's a good point. Hey, tell you what, why don't you uh, kick back on the couch and I'll pack up some of the stuff for you, all right? I got a better idea. Is that the 79? It's been breathing for the last 15 minutes. You've had this bottle forever. Yeah, well, it's not like I can take it with me. I mean, the only thing they can fit in there is me, my best suit, and my Beatles collection. Now you are saving this for a special occasion. Yeah, well, you never know. Tonight, just might be. Uh, before you do that, God, you know, I really hate saying this, but you were right about the wine at least. I was always trying to save it for a special occasion. But you were always saying things like, um, it's Tuesday. <laughs> we're, we're happy, we're healthy, let's celebrate that. I don't have either of those to look forward to anymore. Uh, 
I'm sorry, friend. I, it's okay. I did. You were right. Bastard. <laughs> it's about live for the day, celebrate what's important. But what you don't see is that you're afraid to go after what you want. You, you lost me. We said we were both going to go to L.A. together and pursue acting. Every year we made another excuse why we couldn't go, why we wouldn't go. We'll, we'll go next year, and then next year, and then next year, yada, yada, yada. There is no next year for me. So what's your excuse? I have none. Don't leave this life with any regrets. Because I can tell you right now, this sucks. Got it, no regrets. To next year. <laughs> oh hell, if I knew it was this good, I would've opened this years ago. <laughs> Sold my house, packed up my dog, and moved to Los Angeles. Sounds like a pretty special friend. Is he also an actor? Oh yeah, he's um, a tremendous character actor. Uh, it's not a day goes by where I don't wake up and, and thank him for what he did for me. I do, every damn day. <laughs>